Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says bridges, of course, are not designed to take a direct hit from a massive cargo ship like that. And the disaster in Baltimore has drivers here in Massachusetts looking at our bridges with a wary eye. WBZ's Brandon Truitt picks up our team coverage tonight, and Brandon officials are trying to assure people that our bridges are safe. Yeah, David, you know, MassDOT is responsible for about 5,000 bridges or so, but today they really focused in on two of them, the, to the Tobin here along with the Braga Bridge down in Fall River. Meantime, engineers are pointing out the differences between these bridges and the one in Baltimore. Tonight, the bridge collapse in Baltimore has local transportation agencies, maritime experts, and engineers questioning what went wrong. Unfortunately, I think this will be one of the examples that the bridge community will learn. We'll learn from. Dr. Aaron Bell is the head of the engineering department at the University of New Hampshire. She says the key bridge in Baltimore had a through truss design, which ultimately led to most of it collapsing when millions of pounds slammed into the side of it. Compare that to the Tobin's cantilever truss, designed to disperse shock and break into sections. So if you lose one side, you don't lose the whole thing. This bridge, because it was a through truss, that doesn't happen, which is what we saw this morning and in those videos. This is going to be a long process to determine what exactly went wrong in Baltimore. We are going to be monitoring it very, very closely. Mastot says the Tobin and Braga bridges have piles on piers in the water and both have cargo ships passing under them. But the department points out there are strict rules for moving cargo ships from port and says Boston rarely sees one as big as this. We don't certainly see very many of them that size in Massachusetts and not that we're aware of traveling under our bridges. It can take up to a mile for some of these ships to, to get stopped. Uh, depending on the circumstances. Down in Buzzards Bay, there is around the clock training at the Mass Maritime Academy, including use of the simulator for future mariners and pilots whose critical work navigate ships in and out of port. And that pilot is uh, a very experienced mariner in their own right with uh, years or decades of experience, but also expert local knowledge of that particular harbor. And the pilots here in Boston have decades of experience in this very harbor. It is another step the state says they are taking to try to avoid any potential disaster. Live in Charlestown, Brandon True at WBZ News. Brandon, thank you.